Hello friends, hi. Uh, in this video, we are going to look into how you can run a JMeter test script from EC2 instance. So EC2 instance is basically a machine okay, available at AWS server, okay, so Amazon Web Service. So here I have a uh, test script, okay, so let's take, uh, uh, in my previous video, I have shown you how to create uh, the test script okay using a jme test so i created test script here okay and uh, i'm going to run my test okay so uh, like for using two from two users okay so the load is two users but as i said the purpose and so in the script i'm using here one of the say notepad file okay which contains username password and all details okay which i'm using in my script okay so in my other video also i have shown you how you can do the data driven testing and uh, you can use csv file and uh, the notepad okay using which you can pass the data right so so this is my script script name is dc sada new 6 and the file name which contains data is this file new teacher slot okay so so now <coughs> In order to run the test from EC2 machine, okay, so following details are required, okay. So the first is you should have the IP address of the machine, okay. So this EC2 machine is located at Amazon Web Server, okay. And this is a, just a console, like it's a, uh, you cannot have a GUI, okay, you can just access the command, okay, uh, prompt and uh, so it contains a Linux machine. Okay, so EC2 Linux machine it is. So <clears throat> you should have an IP address. You should have the username of that machine. Okay, and then you need to have to have two softwares. Okay, so you need to inst uh, required. Okay, so for working with this EC2, one is the software is uh, putty, and the second one is FileZilla. I'm just showing you here. I downloaded it I kept it somewhere here okay so see these are uh, you, you need to have a putty okay and you need to have a filezilla okay so these two softwares are required in order to power on the test when we see two machine so and uh, the other thing required is pem file okay so the pem file is used okay to connect with the ec2 machine okay so to get access to the ec2 machine okay so we need required a pem file okay so what i will repeat it what are the prerequisites we require a pem file okay we require a putty okay software and we require a file data software and then we required the ec2 okay machine ip address and the username of that machine okay so now starting with the putty okay so in you can just download the putty okay, from the google and for a specific bit and once the installation is completed you will get here a putty okay keygen okay and there is a like two things you will get keygen and a, a putty app okay so let me just here click on putty keygen okay so you can see putty keygen generator is open you need to click on load and then so you need to search for the pem file okay so i have kept it at this particular location this is the pem file okay so which i shown you here right so this is pem file open it and so you need to save the private key okay so you need to say yes and here you can give any name and you can say putty private i already saved it here you can look in there it's already saved so going to save it again okay so this is uh, we have generated a public sorry the private key okay using the putty key gen okay so this is the putty private key okay so now once the key is generated now we are going to connect to this particular machine okay so with the so again search for the putty and uh, you need to open the putty app okay so this is the putty configuration app and you need to add here the ip address of this machine so the ip address is i copied here the ip address and i'm going to connect to that particular machine just okay type it here 
IP address okay and uh, you can click here auth and the SSH and then you need to browse here uh, the putty okay keygen with you okay so generated just now okay so once okay so this uh, file is loaded you can just click on open okay so now we have connected to this particular EC2 machine right so once we are connected to EC2 machine so I need to log in so this is my username as I told you like 20 card eh? username here okay so so okay so enter so this is the login so here uh, I have already logged into my machine now once this I have logged in into the machine so in this machine actually I need to install my JMeter and then I need to copy my this test script okay and the test data file into that and then I can run the test right so in order to do that so I can use the Linux commands okay so to find the file structure and uh, I can use the Linux commands to copy paste file from a local to this particular machine right so if you don't know the Linux command so you can go ahead and you can use the file zilla okay so file zilla I have already opened it so I need to connect to the file zilla okay so uh, sorry the uh, EC2 machine okay using the file zilla so I'm connecting to the same machine okay so using file zilla now so we are already connected using the putty but now to the same machine I'm going to connect okay so you can go to the file zilla you can in do the installation is very simple you can open file zilla you can go to site manager and see same IP address okay you can type okay here IP address and same putty okay private key file you can use it and then you can just click on connect so see it's already connected so it is showing here okay so here see again it's showing connecting and using username Ubuntu and all okay so now it's connected here right so once it is connected so you can see this is my local file structure okay and this is the ubuntu file structure so here I already i have installed the jmeter okay zip file okay so you know how to install the jmeter it's very simple right so you need to just uh, have a zip file and you need to extract it right so here in order to do this you, need to, you can just copy paste okay the zip file from your local and to this particular machine so it's very simple okay so just to drag and drop suppose let's take I want to copy this file okay so I will just drag and drop here okay so it will copy from my local to the EC2 machine the same way I have copied here the Apache JMeter okay zip file so once the zip file is okay so is uh, copied here I have see I have extracted it right so so why because so the in jmeter okay so uh, test script to run the jmeter test script and you go to apache jmeter folder and inside that bin right so yeah okay so inside the bin actually i need to copy paste all my script if you are going to run from the ect machine so here from the local i'm going to copy my test script and the test data file both the files are required in order to run this test right so from in ec2 machine so this is my local machine so i will browse to the same for the folder in which i have kept my test script okay so and then so i can copy my test data as well okay so this is my file location okay so you can see we see our latest new data set okay so same File I opened it here. Okay, we see your latest data set in day CD and new six. Okay, so here if you look into, so I have this file. Okay, so this is the file I opened from the JMeter in my local. So I will paste it here. Okay, so okay, so it's copying. You can see it's uh, copied. Okay, now it's copied here. You can see this file is copied here. Okay, so in the bin folder. Okay and the same way i will okay copy this um, test data file okay so which i have already done it okay so it's uh, i'll show you where it is yeah 
okay so this is the file okay you can see here new teacher login okay so this is the file okay i used it here so both the files are copied now okay so <laughs> so now we are going to run the test okay so in order to run the test we need to go to the putty okay and now see in this we are just logged in but we need to navigate to this particular location that is apache jmeter bin okay so in order to do it in putty we have some commands so so, so you need to cd and apache okay and tab you will press so we are navigated to apache jmeter same way cd bin okay so tab and we are navigated to bin folder right so now we are into the bin folder and we need to use this particular command okay sh jmeter dot sh so we in for in windows we had to used to uh, invoke jmeter dot bat file right but this is a linux machine ec2 so we in order to that we need to have this particular jmeter dot sh okay so then hyphen n is for a non gui mode hyphen t is for the test case name okay which we are going to run hyphen l is for logs and uh, the file okay so output file okay name so for test 3 dot jtl or dot csv okay so i need to save the test results in this file so this is the command and we need to paste it here okay and then you can start the test okay so here the test is started okay so and uh, the test 3 dot jtl file that is the results file okay will be okay present it will be copied here in the bin folder only okay it will be generated so if i'll refresh it so you can see here test 3.gtl is generated right so all the test results will be copied okay so in the test 3.gtl file and once the test is completed we can copy this particular file into our local and we can generate the html report right so i'll show you how to generate the html report so once the test is completed so i'm refreshing it so that uh, i can see here okay so even you can see the test execution status on the console okay so <coughs> so i'm running the test okay so simple test okay with the two users okay and there is one more thread group again so there are two threads groups which contain two to use total four users now okay so <coughs> let's complete okay so i will pause till then so the it will take some time to invoke the test So, uh, like here, you can see like here the test is uh, like completed, and uh, we have here like the file generated. Okay, so test three the JTL. Okay, so if you look into the putty logs, so you can see here there is a start date and then they're starting the test. Okay, Friday October thirteen at thirteen fifty. Okay, so PM UTC. Okay, so this is my current system timing okay but uh, we are running the test from utc it is 1350 and uh, the test is completed okay so here at this part and then the test results are stored okay so in this file so test3.jtl okay so you need to refresh once the test is completed so that you will get the complete file okay so and then you need to copy this file anywhere okay so in your machine from where you can so i'm copying at this particular location this file okay so drag and drop and now we can go ahead and uh, generate the test results okay so to generate the test results html test results it's copied okay so somewhere let me see okay let's refresh okay so let me recopy it I think it's not copied. Okay, so maybe it has copied somewhere. Okay, um, inside the folder. Let me drag and drop here. 
okay so yeah now it's copied here okay so it, earlier it was copied inside the some other file so i'm not able to see it now it's copied here i will go to this particular location and okay so in this is my local file location in order to generate the uh, html file okay so this is a gtl file okay so we can generate the html file to generate the html file you need to go to the apache jmeter okay bin folder and you need to open a command prompt okay so and then you need to navigate to the particular location where you copied the JTL file. So J, this is the command J meter. J is for to generate. Okay, uh, the JTL file. Okay, so I will go to this particular location. Okay, of the JTL file. Okay, I'll copy this location. Okay, so where I kept my JTL file. Okay, so inside this folder this is the gtl file okay so copy this location and okay so paste it here and then the file name okay so we need to add that is test 3.jtl okay then have an output okay so in the same location i want to generate the html file which is test 3 dot html okay so Okay, so now it is going to generate here the HTML file. Okay, so it is generated here this 3.html file and we can open the results and you can analyze it. Okay, so see it's like the test is failed maybe. Okay, so uh, the server issue or something. Okay, so uh, no need to worry about this. Okay, so <laughs> I'm running the test and uh, this test is okay, so failed. Okay, so Okay. so but here we have generated we executed the test and then so we have generated the file okay so HTML file and you can analyze and you can see the timings so since I generated the test okay so from my local machine so this is uh, uh, the particular time during which I generated the report okay so <laughs> fine guys so i hope you, all of you understand okay so what we did okay so if you have any questions you can uh, put me in comment and please like subscribe them to my videos okay and uh, let me know if you have any doubts okay thank you bye bye have a nice day